we are here at the, the stand of uh, Dargo, the French publisher, uh, with me uh, Jordi Lefebvre. How are you doing? Fine, fine. I, I love this city, so I love to come here every, every year. And this time for this kind of magnific festival, it's, it's lovely. It is lovely. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing uh, um, vibe to be here. A lot of uh, friendly people. Have you already had a lot of visitors? Uh, actually, yes. It, it's, I've been here, I, I come here every year from the beginning. It, it's a kind of young festival. And, and the first year was really small. But this, this, there's families and public it's going on more and more every year. So I, I, it's, it's a little spot I love to come here. And yeah, there's a few people like knows where I'm, I am here. So come, come by and say hi and singing some books. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Okay, so they know how to find you. Yeah, exactly. This, that's the idea. <laughs> okay, so, so you actually seen the festival grow over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. It, it's lovely. And actually, I think it's still growing up because next year it's gonna be some somewhere else like in a bigger space so that's life life it's always yeah. <laughs> evolution. Yeah, that, that, that's very nice now the the main reason why we are here is because I was really interested in having a chat with you because well a, a, a long time ago I read this book and this this was my introduction to your work I was not familiar with your work at all and I have to be honest, the main reason why I wanted to read this book was I saw the name Zidru on it. Okay. Because I was that, familiar that, with his that's work. A good, that's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good reason. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I, I did a little research and I saw that this is not the only comic book series you made with Zidru. You made not quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> exactly. It's been, it's been years. It's been years working with him, actually. Yeah. How, how did you start working together? Well, at... Uh, uh, that point it's been uh, 10 years already working with him uh, he met we we met at spain i'm from barcelona and he's living in the south of spain at that that time he was looking for new artists and i was looking for a, a screenwriter so we met like a casual meeting from professionals and eventually you know there's some interest we had together so we started to work together and from this, at that point, you know, we, we love to work together. So we're going and we keep going, we keep going, working together. And it's been 10 years already. And, you know, it's like Ten, 10 years, wow, that's, yeah. that's a long time. Because normally I, I notice that Zidru works with a lot of different artists, but usually it's one series and then, you know, someone else. But you made uh, several series. So for some reason, we keep going working together I don't know why <laughs> for some reasons let's talk about uh, this one uh, in English it's glorious summers in the Netherlands it's uh, mooie zomers and, and what is it called in French Liposité. Liposité. so you're from Spain but you speak French uh, a little bit <laughs> yeah like, it's, it's well, like uh, my English it's not my but my French it's not really great either but, but I try I do my, I try my best <laughs> I think your French is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> we will never know. Yeah. <laughs> so how how did this, uh, well, let's say it in English, Glorious Summers, how did it start? Where was it born? Actually, we came uh, from uh, Serial. It was really dark from with Nazis and, and it was a very strong but sad story. And we wanted to start with a very bright, uh, positive uh, and optimistic serial. So I had this idea of a family and this idea of really speaking to families. And yeah. he had this idea of, of exteriors and big environments with light and, and fresh air. And we mix all the ideas we had in mind. Uh, I come from Spain, so there's some... He, the, the screenwriter Zidru has four kids on his own so we mixed up a little bunch of ideas we had and at some point this family came out to us from you know this like ideas come I don't know where but and we realized we had a family we have yeah. some a real real actually family family so we started to work with them and they get born one thing I found interesting is that it is, is I, I see this as a feel-good uh, story. It is, it is. Um, one of the, the, the criticisms I heard was that it is sometimes a little too happy. 
but, but we don't try to be realistic. I'm not trying to be realistic when I draw, and I, we are not trying to be realistic when we write the stories, you know. Uh, if you want real life, go to life, actual life, you know. It's, it's, uh, we try to push some uh, you know, kind of feelings and push some... To, to focus on positive things in life. Yeah, we try to yeah. do that because we try to, like a little medicine a doctor gives you to yeah. be happy, we try to give little medicines to smile. Uh, we, we are completely aware that's not real life. Of course not. <laughs> I, I agree with you. And I like it that you say that the, uh, a kind of medicine because if we look around, if you watch the news, it's all depressing. Exactly. So and, and I can fight, we can fight against uh, news, bad news in the world. We can fight against that. But we, try, we, we, we are trying to balance it with yeah. our stuff. And our stuff is going to be positive. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not to be to be balanced it, by itself. It's yeah. to be balanced with actual life. There are five albums out. The last one is a bit of a, a, a change because everything takes place in the summer. Yeah. It's called Glorious Summers, and then you come with a story that's in the winter with snow. Why is that? Because we wanted to explore new things, and I had this idea of doing back and see. On, on Christmas Eve and the, the idea of put the, this family with jackets and gloves and, and yeah. you know with snow it was so sexy visual sexy and we, we had so many so much ideas about what cook would do with that that you know it was once you have an idea in mind it's, it's impossible to <laughs> to put it away and say no let's focus just in summers no it was but why not on yeah. you know in, in snow and, and winter and jackets and stuff it's it's yeah. like we had this idea and it's a crazy idea but we we go for it <laughs> it, it it worked now the series the series is not uh, it's not on here one it's not chronological um, isn't that difficult for you to draw because you have the different ages, how they look? It's kind of sexy, it's never boring. You know, we ha I have, uh, I'm forced to have everything in mind, like a picture of... So I picked some of my family to draw my, but the family itself because I've been getting so... My family grow, getting older okay. and that forced me to have a picture of everything in mind. At the same time, uh, I can put something on my own in the, in the characters. So it's never boring and it's more personal. It's more uh, touchy for me. Oh, wow, that, that's, that's nice to hear. Now, um, we have five albums. Uh, will there be more? Eventually, yes, we are working on the sixth, but we have no date for the outcome. So uh, we are working on it, but we don't know when it's going to be out. I, I hope it will come because this is one of my favorite okay. stories to read. So, well, thank you very much. I enjoyed having a chat with you and, well, enjoy the rest of the festival. You too. You too. Thank you. Thank you.